Hey beauties, welcome back for our vlog this week where our topic is Ayurvedic summertime rituals for health and happiness. And I love Ayurveda personally. I incorporate some of it into my philosophy. I've been studying it for some years now. And what I love about it is that it's about, so much of it is about self-care and seasonality, which I think is really important that just like nature goes through cycles and seasons, we also do the same and make adjustments in our self-care routine so that we really feel our best in our highest energy. We're supporting our well-being. We're supporting our beauty as the year goes on. So in summertime, Ayurveda says this is the height, this is the season of Pitta, which is the fire and the heat. The sun is burning the brightest. There's the most heat externally and built up internally inside of our bodies. So taking it from our four cornerstone approach, from a food perspective, Ayurveda will say this is very much the season for cooling foods raw foods, greens, which are very yin, which you may be more drawn to naturally. Cucumber, celery, kale, just greens if you have a garden, tender greens. Adding all this into your glowing green smoothie and just having very uh, you know, fresh meals. I love cucumber salad in the summer. Sometimes just cucumber and avocado is really, really satisfying. Now, the herbs and spices also rotate seasonally in Ayurvedic practice. And so the best cooling spices right now to use are fennel, mint, uh, cilantro, coriander, and cumin. And cumin in particular is also really great for di digestion and helping to abate bloating so that we can feel light and great, especially as we go into summertime and we tend to be wearing less clothes and we wanna feel like we're outside more, we have more energy. So I particularly recommend cumin. Now our second cornerstone is body. And Ayurveda will say, since there's so much heat already that can aggravate us, this is not the season for heated yoga, you know, whether or not your studio's open right now, but very rajasic, very active practices with a lot of heat already in them. This is a great time to do more yin restorative yoga. It's also a great time to go on long walks, particularly Ayurveda will say after you eat, even if you go on a 10 or 15 minute walk after you eat, it's said to help promote digestion and circulation, which is a wonderful practice. Now we also want to focus on Abhyanga, some self massage, which can, which can feel very nourishing, especially as the Pitta season means we can more easily get aggravated. Now this is the season to use cooling oils on your skin, like coconut oil versus sesame oil, which we would want to use in the winter because it's a more warming oil. Or you can try getting a herbalized oil somewhere online that is said to pacify Pitta. Our third cornerstone is emotional well-being. And because so much aggravation and heat can build in the body, it definitely also affects our mind, which is everything is inter interconnected. So this is a great time to journal, to slow down, to process, to find a friend or two, to maybe connect with more about your feelings or what you're going through, and just to have that space to de-stress and to let yourself feel and to let go. Spiritually, which is our fourth cornerstone about connecting to our inner essence, this is a very important season for breathing, deep breathing and being more than doing. So because it's already hot, the less we run around and the more we just enjoy a space of more meditation, more breathing, um, being outside perhaps to meditate could feel really nice. Dusk and dawn and different times, maybe you could sit outside in the grass and earth and ground at the same time. We know that yoga is actually the sister science to Ayurveda. So there is some intertwinement about the spiritual part of Ayurveda, talking about really the self-care of the mind has a profound impact on physical health, which is something that I've always really loved and definitely we incorporate here into our cornerstones. So I hope that you enjoyed learning about some of these Ayurvedic tips. Um, please search around. We have a lot more information on Ayurveda as well as podcasts on our Feel Good podcast with my Ayurvedic teacher who is called Dr. J. Thank you so much for tuning in, sending you a huge, huge virtual hug, lots of love, and we will see you back here next week.